It's a morning ritual for most of us to start our day with a nice hot cup of coffee, save yourself the time and the trouble from stopping at the store to get your coffee. I will show you how you can take a store-bought shelf and turn it into a coffee station that will wake up any corner. First, I want to thank you all for all of the wonderful comments and the positive feedback on my kitchen. I'm so glad it can help you. For those of you who missed it, I gave a full kitchen tour with a little kitchen decor, an easy and practical organization that anyone can do, and I will have a link down below in case you'd like to see a tour. This is our old coffee station. It was small and quaint, and it has been through a few changes. Organization is always key, especially when you have a lot of items to keep up with. So as far as the kitchen has changed, the coffee station had to change too. Can we say I'm having a slight love affair with rustic decor? I got this rustic four-tier shelf from Kirkland's. The shelves are natural reclaimed wood. The back has a metal crossbar accent that I just love. So obviously I wanted to use it as our coffee station, but there was a slight issue with my coffee pot being functional for us to use it. So we did a little hack to make it work for us. To accommodate our 12 cup coffee maker and our Keurig, we needed to add a drawer with slides so we can slide the coffee pot out and add water and it took no time to do. The first thing we had to do was remove the top shelf because when we add our Euro slides along with the drawer, the coffee pot would have been a snug fit to pull out the coffee pot. Four bolts were removed using a hex key and that's used for removing bolts. So the hubster cut a piece of scrap wood to give the shelf some height so the coffee pot can clear the top when we pull it out. Then he attached the shelf back using nail glue. The Euro slides you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot and these are 14 inches and they were around $16. As per the directions, he attached the hardware to the bottom drawer and then he lined it up and attached it to the shelf. Now when we make our coffee, all we have to do is pull out the drawer and add our water. So we are really loving this setup. It's a lot more streamlined and I got rid of a lot of items I just wasn't using and now I have more appealing decorative pieces with minimal storage and a lot less to deal with. I implemented this coffee pot organizer. This can be used on your countertop or inside a drawer. This holds up to 15 pods and you can see what flavor you want and when you're getting low. And I got two from at home stores for half off. I keep our overflow of coffee inside the larger two of the storage boxes. I share this with you guys in my kitchen tour video. The pot organizers fit perfectly inside along with the other coffee pods and it's easy to access them with no problems. I do not pull out that storage box every day. I keep a good amount on the top shelf inside this decorative terrarium. And filtered coffee is inside this coffee canister I got from Home Goods. Inside the galvanized storage box, I keep Splenda packets and coffee filters and tea bags inside, and this tiered rack. I got it from Hobby Lobby for half off. I have a small collection of redone cups and our breakfast dishes, and a touch of fall on top of the dishes. I could not pass up these farmhouse inspired enamelware. They are so adorable and there's so many ways you can use them. If you want to see, follow me on Instagram at Be My Guest with Denise and Facebook to keep up with my daily lifestyle and daily inspiration. I needed storage for our to-go cups, but I wanted something that was very easy to access and I wanted it to fit the theme of my rustic coffee station. I thought this galvanized storage box was fitting for the look. It's deep and narrow and it takes up very little space and it's also from Hobby Lobby. So I hope you all enjoyed my updated coffee station and if you're looking to create this look for yourself, I will have everything down below in my description box and I want to thank you all for watching.